Beacon Community Connections hosted its third annual South Louisiana Community Health Summit. News 15's Patsy Douglas attended the event and has more. The Lafayette community and several health care officials gathered together to discuss health care challenges and the impact and federal policy on COVID-19 response. People don't wear masks. They don't do proper hand washing. They're pretty much just out there doing what they want to do, traveling where they want to travel with no inhibition. As we continue to overcome this pandemic, healthcare officials discuss issues during this time. Lafayette General Health Amanda Logue says there is a lot more research that has to be developed. You know, we're still struggling to have rapid testing that's reliable everywhere we need it. I mean, if it were if it were a perfect world, we would have it in all schools, right where you need it, point of care, be able to give you a rapid decision. That's just not the case. We are all still. We're all still working on um, getting it uh, wherever we need it at, you know, at the right time. Now, other health care officials like Dr. Tina Stefanski says from a personal level, individuals are still struggling with the after effects of COVID-19. It's, it's important not to, not to mix those uh, you know, politics up with, with people's health and their lives and their lives with their family and then their health of our community. Louisiana Department of Health Dr. Henry Kaufman says this is a time where we need to maintain our awareness and health. Once we get a vaccine in place, it's not going to be automatic. We can't let down our guard. It's going to take a tremendous amount of resources to get these vaccines out and distributed to the population. Now, healthcare officials say that if we continue to move forward with the right protocols, we'll be able to survive the flu season. In Lafayette, Patsy Douglas, News 15. Thanks, Patsy. It's always great to get some insight on how healthcare officials are feeling during this time. And to learn more about COVID 19 cases, be sure to go to KLAF.com.